Are there any other like the there, short? The, yeah, there's another short one. The uh, headline is um, "Stroke Victim," and it's um, <laughs> it's his student Zen Gang died of a heart attack on his fourth visit in a week to a sperm bank at, uh, at this universe. Uh, this university in China. <laughs> How old was he? 24? 23. And, and he's, he's wanking. He's going for a wank like four times. He uh, four. It's his fourth visit to the sperm bank in know. a week. This is in China. But, I mean, they, again, it's like what they're trying to convince you of is that having four wanks, wanks in a week will lead to will an heart attack. I have four wanks in a day sometimes. <laughs> I've never read a you fucking must be some sort of stupid, superhuman. <laughs> I don't know if Chinese bored, people if it's are more Sunday prone afternoon, to sort of wank related heart attacks. If I'm bored, it's Sunday afternoon. There's nothing on the TV. It's shit, like you know. I bang, I bang fucking four out before dinner time. Fucking, if I'm that fucking bored, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like <laughs> four wank. <laughs> the thing is, to have an heart attack from wanking, how fucking hard must he be wanking? He must have been like a fucking machine well, to give himself a fucking heart attack. There's again, it's like they're leading you down the wrong path for them. This guy obviously had a heart condition. He just happened to have gone to the sperm bank four times that What week. paper was this in? Uh, I don't know, but I'm guessing it was probably the sun or something like that. I think I, because I, I, I took a photo of this one on my phone when we were away, you know. So like, I thought to take a. Oh, that's interesting. That one, that would be a good one. That one, I'll take because it's it involves masturbation and death. That's perfect for our podcast. It's a shame there's not a monkey involved. <laughs> but, or some wild animal kills him while he's in the sperm bank. But, <laughs> But yeah, again, it's like he's obviously got a heart condition. Masturbating four times in a week is not a, a lethal cocktail, is it? You know, you were saying earlier about like things you like doing. Like, I think I'd like to go to a spam bank actually, just to see what the old process just to is. See what it's like. I, d- I have that sometimes. You think, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I thing. want to do just... something just to see how it pans out, right? Yeah. Because the thing is, you have an idea in your mind, like loads of things. There's like, like you know, when you're watching a film or something, right? You watch a film. And there'll be an interesting situation that someone's in. And you think to yourself, I wonder if it's actually like that, yeah. right? As opposed to being something completely warped and different, right? <laughs> yeah. So I think to myself sometimes, I'd like to go and do something like that, just to see what the actual mechanics of it are, yeah. how it works out. So strip away all the Hollywood veneer, yeah. whatever, and just see what the reality <laughs> is. So like, And I've... save the world from terrorists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to see whether it, it well, might be just when you're really stealing boring. an F eleven fucking fighter exactly, exactly. from fucking Iraqi terrorists, <laughs> I like to see how that actually pans out. I know how it pans out with me getting shot and killed. <laughs> well, I'd say as you were saying about the guy in the, in the we having the dream, you know, and sort of waking up and beating his girlfriend up because I, I was saying to the guy at work and and this was wasn't just a joke; it was genuinely because sometimes I get a bit if I felt. If I, I get not confused, I'm not a confused person. You know, I know who I am, I know where I am. But I watched um, Con Air too many times in one week. Yeah. And, and thought it actually happened to me. <laughs> but, it's like, but no, you know when you sort of like, you sort of see so too many times. But then the memory of it, you can't remember if it's the memory of watching it or it's the memory of it actually happening. <laughs> But I wasn't totally convinced. But I'm sure on some level, some part of Con Air, I thought that had actually had actually been involved in. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do that sometimes. I do, yeah, I, I think it's just a question of getting old. There probably is like you probably were involved in something similar. Yeah. To it. <laughs> Saying similar to Con Air. Being, Con Air being released from prison and hijacking a, a plane, a, a prison plane. I can't, I, I'm just struggling to think what in my life is similar to that. <laughs> but yeah, I'd no. like to go to a wank bank though. I'd like yeah, to go to a sperm bank. It'd be and, interesting, wouldn't and it? And just to see, because you know, I think now that it's like all gone high tech, isn't it? Because like it used to be, didn't it? Didn't it used to be like you'd be the old couple of jazz mags, a couple of naive or something? Oh. Yeah, I'm and sure like, it's not that high tech. You no, just shoot one off. Just... I think they got all DVDs in that now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think they've gone up to like moving images. Moving images. <laughs> oh, it's the like the, the metal <laughs> drum, isn't it? What about the saw? Yeah, so- <laughs> Some fucking burlesque dancer from the fucking nineteen twenties, like trying a bit of nipple, <laughs> bit of tassel. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in there's dressed up as Victorian gentlemen in top hats and things. All got ruddy cheeks and handlebar moustaches. <laughs> oh one my one dear! Was, one of them's cranking the machine <laughs> yeah. for you because you got to use your good hand, did not you? Yeah. Otherwise, you're not quite quick enough. He's knocking one out as he's doing it. <laughs> No, it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. It's, you can't fucking do that. It's going down to a tea, like, you know, <laughs> suit here, sir. <laughs> Just fucking jizzing on the back of your neck. The, it's like, all right, fucking hell, mate. He's got a silver tray to catch you on. <laughs> <laughs> That's some sort of gentleman's club. Yeah, gentleman's club. <laughs> so would you like to go come in here, sir? Just like, yeah, exactly. You know, but I just think, but like, yeah, I think I was reading an article or something on it. Well, someone has been donated or something like that. And I think they've got, like, DVDs in it. Or a proper, yeah. like, filth, hardcore Deutsche. <laughs> hardcore Deutsche on the go. Just you like, they ask you what your preferences are, what sort of DVD you want? I don't think you get a choice, Tony. No? I don't think there's, like, a library of porn. Oh, fuck it. I, I think they just, you go into a room and it's just, like, you know, where have the last case has finished up oh, in the story? No. I don't think you even, like, you don't think you can look, do scene select or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just press the play button and get on with it. Do you think if you're in there too long, they turf you out? Probably. Oh, you've had enough. <laughs> Come on, fucking hell. How long does it take you? Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I mean, like most guys, revolving door would fucking do it too, wouldn't it? <laughs> just go in. Fuck <laughs> in out the other side. Thanks very much. Cheers. Here's your lollipop. <laughs> the badge, isn't it? The sticky yeah. badge. I've, been, I have, I've donated some wags today. Yeah, I came for England. It's just like. But yeah, I'd like. I yeah. came so that others may live. <laughs> Kill religious affairs. That's very nearly an armful. 